What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. And today the Atlanta Hearts going to the second round. Let's go! Let's go in the garden. Way to close them out, Hawks. That's how you put your foot on their neck. That's how you close out a game. That's how you close out a series. That's how you do in big games. That's how you close it out in the garden. Wire to wire victory. Well, actually, no. Knicks, Knicks had to leave for a little second. They had to leave for a little second. We played around for them with a little bit. But man, third, especially fourth quarter, went on a big run, closed them out, and never gave them any hope down the stretch. And that's how you do it. That's how you play playoff basketball. You close out games when you're supposed to close out games. You finish series when you're supposed to finish series. Hey, man, how about Trey Young? Three-point at the very end just to put the icing on the cake. Step back, deep three, and then he go uh, take a bow afterwards. That's my boy Trey Young. That's what I'm talking about. Shut up, them Knicks fans. That's what I'm talking about. National media. Didn't all of y'all pick the Hawks? Didn't all of y'all ESPN people pick the Hawks? I mean, excuse me. Didn't all y'all ESPN people pick the Knicks? <laughs> What's that I hear? I hear crickets. Man, I'm about to see a lot of backpedaling on Twitter. I'm about to see a lot of, well, you know, this and that and this and that. Nah, I don't want to see none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. The Hawks were the better team. And what happened was y'all didn't watch the Hawks this season. Y'all did not understand that once we got rid of Lloyd Pierce, once we got healthy, we're a completely different team. No, you just saw the box score, look at a couple of stats, and you automatically thought the Knicks were gonna be the favorite. You automatically thought the Knicks were gonna win this series. That just shows a lot of these folks don't watch the Hawks. But guess what? If you're watching this video, you probably watch the Hawks. If you're a New York Knicks fan, hey, you did your best. That's all I can really say. You got a game. You got a game. But we had the gentlemen sweep you out there. And don't say nothing else about the Hawks no more. Because we just sent y'all on vacation in y'all own building. At least y'all ain't got to travel far. At least we ain't make y'all come back to Atlanta. It's a quick drive home from y'all, from that, from the garden to y'all homes, I'm sure. Quicker than it would be than getting on a flight from Atlanta to New York. So you're welcome. We saved you a couple miles, a couple of hundred miles. You're welcome. But man, let me go ahead and get into these stats real quick. You already know I got to break the game down. So let's go ahead and get into this final box score. 13 points, seven rebounds for John Collins, 15 points. Um, three rebounds for DeAndre Hunter, six of 11 from the field, made a three. DeAndre Hunter hit some big shots tonight. Great game. John Collins had a sneaky good game, two, five and nine from the field, one of four from three. A fishing game from JC, 14 points, 15 boards from Clint Capella. Also had some blocks in there and well, some huge blocks. So shout out to Clint Capella for holding it down on the defense all season long. Yes, sir, Clint. Yes, sir, did his thing. Been the epitome of consistency all season long. So Clint Capella, 14 points, 15 rebounds, six of seven from the field. Trey Young didn't have an a, a overly efficient game, but 36 points, 10 to 28 from the field, three of 11 from three-point land, four, uh, excuse me, four rebounds, nine assists, just did what he had to do. Got buckets when he needed to was a facilitator when he needed to, score when he needed to. That's what I'm talking about, Trey. Wake these people up on you, man. They will sleep on you and you woke them up. That's what stars do, period. Let's go. That's what stars do. Bogey also had a good game, nine points, four, excuse me, five assists, seven rebounds. Good game for Bogey, not overly efficient. Kevin Herter also had eight points. Lou Williams have five. Hey, even though Big only had Big O only had two points tonight, how great has Big O been in this series? How great has he been down the stretch of the second half of the season? Ever since we acquired Lou Will and we took and he took Big O under his wing, he's been amazing. Got some 
great, great offensive rebounds this series, this game. He got some great offensive rebounds. So shout out to Big O for showing up and giving us some great playoff minutes. That was a huge help and a huge burden off of Clint Capella's shoulders. So shouts out to you, Big O, for doing your job. All right, brief intermission because I was so excited I forgot to say this. Like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to some second round wins against the Philadelphia 76ers. We are playing them. It is confirmed they beat the Washington Wizards tonight in their game five, so it will be 76ers against the Hawks. 76ers will have the home court advantage. So, um, Buy me coffee if you can. Appreciate that. Also, check out the second link in my description box to um, subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast with me and girl Simone with this bizzorts, as she likes to say. We are talking to your favorite former current athletes, hosts, reporters, anchors, all that good stuff. So make sure you either search Tough Calls in either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast, or just click on the link in my description box. It's that easy. You did? But great, 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 great series. Great game by the Atlanta Hawks. I'm just so impressed on how well we closed out this game. The Knicks were in it first half, but third quarter, fourth quarter, we dominated. We dominated the second half. And I'm so proud of this Hawks team for closing out in game five, taking care of business, not taking it back to Atlanta. It would have been cool to win in Atlanta, but I knew we could win it in five. And gosh darn it, we did it. Let's go. Let's go. Five. Gentlemen sweet. Y'all out of there. Next. Now it's going to be tough against the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll have to find somebody that will guard Ben Simmons, probably DeAndre Hunter, with a mix of Bogey Bogdanovich, Joel Embiid. I know he has a slightly torn meniscus, but he's probably going to be seen in that second round series. He didn't play tonight, so we'll see what Joel Embiid's status is um, for game one. Don't know when game one is going to be quite yet. Don't have all the details on that, but we will talk about it and I will do a full game preview. But the 76ers are a better, way better version of the New York Knicks. Play great defense, but they also have shooting. They have other playmakers besides Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. Seth Curry had a great game tonight. They got shooters, got a veteran point guard in George Hill. They got Cork Moss. They got Dwight Howard coming off the bench. So, going to have Clint Capella's going to have to be big. Trey Young's going to have to be big. Bogey. Danilo's going to have to come in on shots. Kevin Herter, Red Velvet. We're going to need everybody to be on their game this series so Philly's gonna be tough y'all I'm not I'm not right now I'm not saying we're gonna win this series there's a possibility but I gotta see game one first see what we do in Philly anything but guys anything we do beyond this point is house money if we win a game against Philly house money if we don't it's fine you know it's all good we won our first round series we did what we supposed to do we did a lot more than what people thought we were gonna do so I am so entirely proud of the Hawks, man. Did what they had to do and did it in five games. Let's go. Even I was wrong. I was saying they was probably going to win in seven. And they took two games off that joint. They only let the Knicks get a game. They let them get a game. I'm so proud of the Hawks, y'all. Shout out to the whole team for coming in clutch and looking like some vets out there. Now, we did play against a young team as well, and that's why I like the Knicks matchup. But the 76ers matchup coming up, their playoff experience, they know what to expect, know what to do. So it's going to be tough. But I think we can probably get a game on it, you know what I'm saying? But guys, let me know how you're feeling in the comments below. And guys, start going to the second round. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? After being 14 and 20, with a bad head coach, we fire our head coach, name it, Miller steps in, and it's, the rest is history. We turn into division champions, win a first round playoff series, and oh man, with this young team, anything from here, guys, is house money. Whatever we do is house money. Making it to the second round, house money, period. It's a successful season for me, guys. It's a successful season. Now, of course, I do want to win and be competitive against the Philadelphia 76ers, but at this point, we got to be realistic. It's going to be tough. We can win. You know, we can make it competitive. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next, okay? 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 But we turning up the night. Let's go. Hawks on to the second round against the Philadelphia 76ers. Bye, Knicks. 
by Knicks fans, by Knicks fans, trash talkers who don't know what the heck they was talking about all series long, by doubters, by haters, by national media that never watched the Hawks but wanted to act like they watched the Hawks because they were saying Knicks was going to win, but clearly y'all didn't watch the Hawks all season long. Acting like you're educated on the Hawks, but you're not. Bye. See ya. Go write about something else. We don't want y'all to write about us no more. We good, love. Enjoy. So let's go. Way to prove the haters wrong. Way to prove the doubters wrong. We did that, y'all. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments down below. Like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks with some second round playoff wins, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to maybe the Eastern Conference Finals. I don't know what you'll see. It's going to be tough though, guys, against the Philadelphia 76ers, but we'll see what happens next, okay? 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 All right. Bay. Oh, let's go, Hawks. Great game, guys. Great game. Way to shut up the Knicks fans. Way to shut up the Knicks after all that acting fake tough and all that good stuff. Way to shut them up. Way to show them who the real tough guys are and way to show them we can be tough and we're going to back it up. Y'all can talk the talk, but we're going to talk it and we're going to walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Hey, let's go. Let's get it. And shout out to Clint Capella for saying what's real. Say what's real, Clint, like Drake did. Say what's real. Say what's real. And backing it up too on the court. That's what you're supposed to do. I know some people were saying, well, why give the next you, blah, blah, blah. Say what is real. The next been talking trash, doing trashy stuff, been trying to rough us up and all this and that, act, acting fake tough. We see now that was just, they be a fake tough. Clint said, nah, we tough for real. We can be tough, we can play physical. The difference is we gonna win games. And that's what we did. We won four, y'all won one, y'all going home. We moving on to the next round, period. Bye, Knicks. That's it. Like this video, comment your thoughts. Let me know how you feel in the comments down below. Let's go. We celebrating tonight. Everybody turned up, Hawks in the second round. And until I talk to y'all for the game one preview, until I talk to y'all next time, Peace.